Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. The IMG gene is a great morph gene to work with in boa constrictors that makes them develop more dark pigment as they grow up. And I'm really lucky to have two really nice IMG morph boas in my collection. They're both sub-adults, and today I want to give you an update so you can see how they're developing over the last couple of years since I've had them. I'm going to take out my close-up lens to give you an up and personal detail, so be sure to stay tuned for that. So the IMG gene is the increasing melanin gene, and this is a great incomplete dominant gene that was uh, generated first by Peter Call, and it's a cool morph because the animals start out relatively light in color with just a few dark flecks and then with each shed they get more and more dark pigment uh, until as adults some of the animals are almost pure jet black and it's this really cool like glossy jet black color it's just a really cool animal to look at this is actually a hypo uh, IMG boa uh, that I got from my buddy Al Brown. He bred this animal. This is a 2019 baby. She's about uh, two and a half years old now. She's a little bit of a firecracker, which is why I'm kind of holding her at arm's length. So it should make this video exciting, but hopefully she'll behave herself. But I actually did a video um, about a year, year and a half ago, where I talked about the IMG gene. So check that one out for more information about it. But you can also see my two IMG boas. When I did that video, they were considerably lighter in color. So you can see how dark this girl looks right now. And I want to show you real quick. This is a picture of her about a year and a half ago uh, when she was younger. So check out this picture of her before and then after. So you can see from that picture she's gotten quite a bit darker you know in the year and a half since that picture was taken so i don't expect that this girl is going to get like the pure jet black because she's actually a hypo img so we got the hypo melanistic and the increasing melanistic gene in one animal so you think that would be kind of like a contradiction but it's a really cool look because um it just really amps up the contrast and the hypo imgs typically have some of the lighter brown but it's not really light, it's kind of more of a dark chocolatey brown plus the black. And as you can look at her belly, they have this amazing contrast. And like I said, this female is a little bit of a firecracker. I don't really handle her that much. And you know, I hadn't noticed how beautiful her belly was. See how contrasty that is. And then looking at her facial markings, these IMG boas have some of the most beautiful heads because they typically will have these golden brown eyes and the contrast is just so cool. I mean, look at the white on her chin and the, you know, the dark colors on her head, plus the uh, bright, you know, bright uh, brownish red eyes. It's just a really cool look. Um, so IMGs, as I mentioned, some of them get really dark and typically the IMG alone with no other genes will get darker than the hypo IMGs. But the darkest combos are typically the um, IMG with Motley or IMG with anerythristic. And there's actually a BOA which is a combination of the IMG plus the uh, RDR black eyed uh, anerythristic BOA, BEA BOA. And this is called the Black Devil. And these are some of the darkest BOAs out there. They're really cool morph. Um, they're kind of expensive now and they could pretty hard to get but it's just a really popular morph and hopefully there'll be more of these to come but the cool thing with IMG is it's incomplete dominant which means even if you just have one IMG boa you can breed that to any other boa of any genotype you know that doesn't carry the IMG and you're going to get 50% of your babies are going to be IMG so it's a good way to get into morphs if you want to have quicker results than having to I uh, thought I was going to get uh, tagged there for a sec. If you're going to, uh, quicker than getting into morphs by breeding, you know, a recessive trait. This female is actually behaving a little bit better than I thought. She's actually pretty calm. So maybe she's calming down with age. I've had quite a few boas that are kind of nasty to handle as babies, but they, most of them will calm down with age. Um, so looking at IMG, as I mentioned, these animals start off relatively light in color and they don't look that much different from just a normal wild type type of boa. Um, but if you look, they have typically a lot of or more of the little black flecks even as babies and that's kind of a giveaway. And then if you look at their saddles, the saddles have kind of a unique shape. Typically, you'll see this kind of oval shape 
in between the saddles. So if you compare an IMG with a normal, you know, wild type ball, you can see the difference. It's, it's kind of subtle, but it's pretty easy to see once you know what you're looking for. And then of course, with each shed, they get darker and darker. Um, so I imagine she's gonna get darker than this. Probably not pure jet black, but I really like the, the cool look of the Hypo IMG. And so this female is actually het for call albino. And so my idea is I'm gonna cross her with a male cow albino, and I should be able to produce IMG sun globo as an IMG albinos. So the IMG really helps the albino because it cleans up the color, um, because the increasing black areas come out basically as white. And so it helps clean up the color and have a, um, a more clean looking albino. Um, so definitely a cool gene to look at, to get into. So I have actually another female um, IMG combo I'll show you in a minute. First I wanna show you some close-ups of this female. Okay, so there's my Hypo IMG female. Um, she actually is really in her defensive mode right now, not surprisingly, when I put her down on these pebbles, she took a strike at me and you know, luckily I was out of striking range, but I'm not gonna get too close, uh, but you can see the beautiful coloration, uh, lots of the black pigment coming in a lot more than when I last showed you her in a video. And uh, you can still see she's got quite a bit of like caramel and mocha color from the hypogene. And there's another shot of the top of her head. I turned the camera off for a second. She actually just struck out at me. So I think I'm about done with filming her. She's, you know, given me about as much cooperation as I'm going to get today, but hopefully she gave you a pretty good idea about how these IMG hypoboas develop. And again, she is probably about two and a half years old, so I think she's going to get a little bit darker, but not completely black. This is my other IMG animal, and fortunately this girl isn't quite as much of a handful as my hypo IMG. But this is another combo. This is a hypo jungle IMG. So the same genes as the animal I just showed you, plus the jungle gene. And so you can see it uh, affects the color quite a bit. You can see she's quite a bit lighter in color. You know, quite a bit more of this kind of rich yellowish tan color. But then a lot of black flecks and a very high contrast. You can see looking at her belly, she has the characteristic you know, belly spots of these IMG, lots of, you know, melanin pigment in the belly. And then looking at her head, really beautiful head markings, very high contrast, beautiful, beautiful golden eyes. I just love the eyes on this animal. And, you know, the contrast between the dark, you know, charcoal black of the head with this yellowish caramel uh, color, just beautiful. And so this female, is a couple months older than the female I showed you before. You know, she's going on three years old. And what's cool about this animal is she's also 60% or 66% possible hat for the VPI T positive albino. So my hope is I can cross her to my, albino, my VPI T positive male. And with any luck, I can get uh, IMG VPI T positive sun glow boss. And that would be a really cool combination. Um, if she's not, doesn't prove out, then I'll have hats um, that are het and which I can cross back to the albino VPI male to make that combo. But just a really cool animal. And this one shows you how much the addition of another gene, the jungle gene, can change the appearance. And so I just love the look of this animal. It's got kind of this crazy dirty look with all of the dark pigment, but then also all the light background color and the very high contrast, and just the beautiful head markings. Just a you know breathtaking animal to look at. Um, I don't think she's gonna get that much darker than this. You know, I've seen some adults of the uh, IMG, um, um, IMG hypo jungles, and they don't typically get all that dark, but they just have this super high contrast. So cool look. Also, I, I, I could say this animal is a genetic powerhouse. I don't like to use that term, but she's got three incomplete dominant genes, hypo jungle and IMG. So I can cross this animal with just a normal boa that has not, no genes and I'll get the different combinations in the offspring. So a really cool way to get into a morph project. Look for a incomplete dominant gene 
um, because then you don't need to worry about hats and crossing the hats to get a recessive trait expressed. Um, IMG is really popular and it's gotten more um, available, but it seems like the price has still stayed quite high. I mean, these animals, even though they are incomplete dominant, which makes them easier to breed, um, there's a high demand for these animals. So I think because the morph is so visually striking that these are gonna stay popular for quite a while and people really want these animals. So I don't think the price is gonna drop all that much. Plus, of course, the price of boas has been skyrocketing lately anyway for a number of different reasons. So great project to get into and you know, great to combine with other morphs like in this case, the jungle and the hypo. So I'm gonna show you guys a few quick close-ups of this animal. So there's my Hypo Jungle IMG, and she's fortunately a little bit more cooperative than my Hypo IMG. You can see the beautiful head marking she has and the beautiful bright golden eyes. Looks like she's going to try to get away here. But I just love all the flacking. So it's interesting with the Jungle IMGs. The jungles typically have this really clean uh, dorsal pattern. You can see in this case it's not quite so clean there's a lot of these blotches from the IMG but then there's definitely still this two-tone appearance you can see her sides are definitely darker than her back and that's from the jungle gene and then you can notice the tail and in the hypo jungle IMGs you can see quite a bit of the red that remains and of course this isn't a true red tail but you know the normal Colombian boas often will have Quite a bit of red in their tail anyway, hence the name Colombian red tail. And so in this case, this female retains that red. And there's a close up of her head. Hopefully you can see her beautiful golden eye color. And I really love the shape of her markings, the spear that she has on her head. And there's a profile shot. This is a really good girl. She's even holding still for me to get this video. So that was an update on my two IMG boas. Hope you enjoyed the video and seeing how they're progressing over time. And as I mentioned, you can check my earlier IMG video that I made about a year and a half ago, just to see how much they progressed in their, their appearance. And you know, I might do another video like this in another year or so, you know, depending on how they're progressing. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and you know, um, if you're thinking about getting into IMG, as I mentioned, cool gene to get into. Um, so I would say definitely go for it. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me a line. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.